Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I let you know that for the first time ever, Mozilla has introduced Firefox Terms of Use effective the 25th of February this year. And the reason for this, as I mentioned in the video I posted yesterday, which will be linked down below in the end screen, is Mozilla says it's building in a much different technology landscape today. So it wants to make these commitments abundantly clear and accessible. And that's the reason they say they have now introduced the Firefox terms of use. Now, in this paragraph here, um, they mention that you give Mozilla all rights necessary to operate Firefox, including processing data. And when you upload or input information through Firefox, you hereby grant us non-exclusive, royalty-free, worldwide license to use that information to help you navigate, experience, and interact with online content as you indicate with your use of Firefox. Now, that and a couple of other little statements in this terms of use has raised a couple of eyebrows. Um, go check that video out for more info. And because of this, Mozilla has actually posted an update to their original announcement regarding the introduction of terms of use and the updated privacy notice for Firefox. And the, it's right here at the top of this announcement where they say, update. We've seen a little confusion about the language regarding licenses, so we want to clear that up. We need a license to allow us to make some of the basic functionality of Firefox possible. Without it, we couldn't use information typed into Firefox. For example, it does not give us ownership of your data or a right to use it for anything other than what is described in the privacy notice okay now the privacy notice is linked down below in that original video go check that out if you would be interested so obviously there's been a little bit of backlash and obviously mozilla now is trying to iron out the so-called confusion and i don't know if this paragraph is actually and this update is going to change that because I think it would have probably helped Mozilla to explain a couple of more examples of how Firefox uses your data and, and put that in the actual terms of use. I mean, they're very vague here where they talk about processing your data as mentioned. And it's also worth mentioning here that Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge have similar licenses while Safari, Brave Browser, and Opera don't appear to specifically mention how it handles or owns user data. So that's quite interesting. And something else just to take note of is if we head back to the terms of use. Mozilla says that Firefox is open source software. And they say that these terms only apply to the executable code version of Firefox, not the Firefox source code. So basically what this means at the end of the day is that Firefox forks won't be affected by these terms of use. So um, other forks of Firefox have not got terms of use. It's only, it's only, as they say, the executable code version of Firefox, not the actual open source code of Firefox. So you can move on to other forks of Firefox and I have seen a couple of comments on the channel that users are going to be doing that and interesting to know your thoughts on this um, do you think that this update by Mozilla where they say they've seen a little confusion about the language regarding licenses do you think that that is going to clear up a little bit of confusion I'd be interested to know and if I get any more information regarding this or there are further updates from Mozilla, obviously I'll post and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.